All right, so here's my setup. The first thing we need to do is level the cameras. So on both my tripod and the lens cowl, there are bubble levels. It's not level here, but I did level it. So each lens has a specific minimum and max distance it should be away from the camera. So make sure you check out this chart on Datacolor's site uh, to find that out. So once you are level, then you need to raise the height of your camera so it, the camera and the lens cowl are both even. So you can see here, the it's not even. I want to get up to that center focal point. So I'm going to raise my camera so they're both um, level and at the same height. And once I'm done with that, I can start running through and taking the different photos that I need to. So you can see here, this is what it looks like when it's level and you're going to focus on that point in the center and then run through all of your lenses and take photos. And once you're done with that, take them over to your camera and download them. All right, so we're in Photo Mechanic now, and these are the uh, images that I shot with my different lenses. Now, one thing you can do, if you, if you can't remember which lens uh, goes with which image, so most browsers were like, work like this, you can go into the metadata and so we can see over here, this is my 35 millimeter lens and I'll skip to the next one. This is my 50 millimeter lens. Um, this lens is saying it's at 80. Um, so that's probably my 70 to 200. There's my 200 and there's my 100 macro. All right, so what we're going to do then is uh, I'll, I'll just launch this one into Photoshop so we can see it. And so here we're in raw and I'll just hit open image. And then I'm basically going to zoom in one, two, three, four times. And we're just going to, oops, uh, drag this over. I disabled my mouse. And so you can see, now I shot these all on F4. Um, the problem was shooting wide open. Um, this is obviously a 2.8 lens and all my lenses are 2.8 or lower, is that um, the depth of field, uh, well, it's shallow, and that's helpful to see where your critical focus is. Um, not all lenses have edge-to-edge -edge sharpness, meaning from this side all the way over to this side. So let me uh, toggle this on so you can see it. So if this was my image from here all the way across to here, sometimes at 2.8, this might be a little bit soft or this might be a little bit soft, but it might be sharp here in the center. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. So that's why I'm shooting it F4. So you can see here on this image, uh, it, it's, it's pretty close to right on. Now this one is a little out of focus. However, this one is sharper than this one. So we know the focus for this lens is right about here, okay? So it's somewhere in this little area. So you can't really micro adjust by that small of amount on the back of the camera. So this lens I'm basically going to leave there. So we're going to come up here to uh, looks like these 70 to 200s. Now these are three images okay and let me zoom in. Let's see if I need to zoom in there. Yeah we'll zoom into this one and zoom into this one and we'll start here. So this is uh, three different settings and so plus one even and minus one on my camera so you can see the the zero is pretty much in sharp now this is plus one this is even let's go back to plus one now notice this is just at plus one this is out of focus and this is out of focus about the same in this one, it looks like it even, it's closer to like right in this area where that critical focus is. So, I mean, that was minus one even, and then this is plus one. And so plus one, we've kind of shifted in this zero is really in focus. So you can see where you can micro adjust your focus. I'm not sure how well it works. This is a Canon. 5D Mark III. 
So I'm micro adjusting going plus one, plus two, and I have some other uh, versions where I'm going uh, plus 10, plus five, plus zero. Um, it does move around back and forth to help you micro adjust. However, I think your camera has to be pretty far out, like minus two or plus two, to really see the need to actually do this micro adjusting. I will also say, this is a kind of a quick fix. You know, you should always send your camera in if it's that out of focus to get readjusted by the manufacturer. Obviously, as a CPS member or an NPS member, um, you are usually allowed to send cameras in for cleaning and adjustment once a year free of charge. So something I would take uh, advantage of. But uh, so let's uh, come up here. So this is uh, another lens. I'm guessing this is maybe at 70 or a different focal length. So yeah, this is my 70. Um, I can tell by how much I've zoomed in. And so this is it at minus one. And that looks pretty good. Maybe minus one, it's up and around here. This is even. And that's looking pretty good for even. And then plus one. So you can see it has shifted it this way a little bit. Um, so I'm going to take that back down to even and just leave it there. So uh, take a, a second here and we'll switch over to the back of my camera. And I'll show you how you can adjust um, the micro adjustment on the back of your Canon. Now this is obviously for Canon. And it should be similar for Nikon. Um, they all have the ability to do that. So uh, hold on and we'll switch over. All right, so I'm going to bring up the micro adjustment on the back of my camera. Now I'm using my 70 to 200 because it has both a wide and a telephoto setting. So you can see how that works. Um, notice I'm adjusting by lens. So when I stick my lens on, it will recognize it and adjust it. So um, notice there's plus one plus uh, on both of these. So the one is the wide angle. So when you're at 70 and notice I can adjust my plus or minus according to what's on that lens gal. And then I can also go to a telephoto setting. So as I'm zoomed in to like around 200, I can adjust that one as well. So hopefully that was helpful. You learned a little something. Uh, please subscribe and leave any comments and questions below.